Julian. Where have I seen that name before? The address on this crate is the same address that was on that letter Helena dropped. Let me out of here! Hey! Open the door! Nancy, I was starting to be worried about you. It's Helena, Helena Berg. She's Il Dottore. You are sure? Yes, and I think she knows she's been busted. So you have to activate the tracking device I planted on her and find her before she escapes. I will activate her device immediately. But because of Carnevale, there are no officers available to follow her. You will have to do this, Nancy. You want me to track her? After I have activated the tracking device, your PDA will show a picture of what method of transportation she has taken, whether she's traveling on foot, in a gondola, or by Vaporetto. From time to time, it will also announce where she is. Why can't it announce where she is all the time? The transmission of a continuous signal would make the device too easy to detect. So please, Nancy, watch your PDA. It will tell you Helena's method of transportation and her last location. Use this information to figure out where she is headed so you can go to that place and intercept her. But you must move quickly or she will get away. I will send someone to help you as soon as possible. Okay. This prudence, Rutherford. I did not like that she forced you on us. But when you are on a case, you are like a dog with a bone. I like that, Nancy Drew. There. Helena's tracking device is activated. She is all yours. Hurry! Salute. A piedi. In gondola. Piazza San Marco. Salute. Piazza San Marco. A gotcha! Helena! Don't try to hide from me, Helena. Nancy? What are you doing here? Getting my locket back. What are you? A cop? A government agent? A thief? What? What do you want? I'm just an amateur detective who wants what all decent people want. Justice. I had a feeling you were up to something. Your sudden arrival at Nascosta. Your feigned interest in Venice always asking questions. You've been watching Fango from the Altena all this time, haven't you? And now the little spy wants her locket back. Well, good. Because you're not getting it back. Ever. Ora! Ora! Helena, stop! She's getting away! Don't be too pleased with yourself, Nancy Drew. It's not over between us. Not by a long shot. True to her word, Helena didn't go quietly. After she was arrested, she insisted that because of me, a silly American teenager, a terrible mistake had been made. She claimed that not only was she innocent, but the locket around her neck was hers. But after I showed the authorities everything I discovered, it became clear that all the thefts attributed to the Phantom of Venice were actually perpetrated by a gang, her gang. It started with Hildegard Killian, a wealthy pork belly heiress in Chicago, who gave Helena a list of the Venetian art objects for which she would happily pay a small fortune should Helena somehow obtain them for her. Inspired by what she had learned while covering the trial of criminal mastermind Leo Macchiano, Helena subtly pumped her sources in the police department for the names of known or suspected criminals who could serve her purposes which enabled her to put together her very own theft ring made up of Antonio Fango, codename Il Capitano, 
Using everything from trained pigeons to chess notations to chocolates, he made sure everyone in the ring knew what they needed to know by the time they needed to know it. Gina Scaramuccia, a civil engineer familiar with practically every security system in existence, she determined the best way to steal an item and, via Il Capitano, passed this information along to Nico Petit, Brigella, who did the actual stealing. It was his idea to wear the mask and cape while pulling the heists, something of which Helena, Il Dottore, did not approve. He delivered what he stole to Enrico Tazza, Arlecchino. He hid the items in paper mache carnival costume heads and stashed them away until they could be shipped to Hildegard Killian. But thanks to Sophia and me, they're all on their way to prison. Prudence Rutherford was so delighted that all the stolen objects were recovered undamaged that she's decided to include me in her memoirs, which I guess I'm supposed to consider a great honor. Margarita is delighted too. Everyone thinks that because I was staying at Ca Nascosta, she was somehow instrumental in solving the case. She's suddenly the darling of Venetian high society, which for her is a dream come true. As for Colin, he called me once out of the blue. He had read about the Phantom's capture and had just one question. Did I get my locket back? When I said I had and was wearing it, there was a long silence, then he just hung up. For a while I felt bad. Then I remembered all those slides. 